What's up, dudes? I'm coming to you backwards. Yes. I'm facing the other way because there is a hairy ass centipede on the ceiling over there. So my feet are over, over in the closest spot to where my head is over here. But this guy's ringing my bell a couple of times. Where are you? See, they come out of nowhere when your fucking bell is. So dude, it's mume, mume, mume. Uh-huh. I, I got one foot dancing on the ceiling wall. I'm all ready. Here comes the other one. Okay. So, yeah. I have a look at this unique George Washington style haircut. I got going. What the fuck? What the fuck? I can't. I was on one of the founding fathers. Holy shit. Somebody might go to Washington, D.C. <laughs> so. It's too funny. It's like the video with me. There's that one video <laughs> where I'm in the bath. And all of a sudden, there's a fart noise, and my eyes go, Ooh. Often and I burst out laughing every time. <laughs> All right, moon magic. <coughs> I hear like a roller coaster. Mm -hmm. I hear waxing and waning moons, full moons, new moons, blue moons. Yeah, it's just it's not universal. It's however, like some person their ass could get kicked by the moon. Yeah, it just be like, moon magic's happening with me, yeah. And then another high priestess will be like, oh, sister, I, you know, feel for you, oh, brother. I can't even imagine. I know what it's like. Oh, person, yeah, I'm with you. Yeah, it's not really riding me hard this cycle, but next cycle I'm sure will. Yeah, but I understand. It's, it's the moon magic, yes. So, the moon will gather energy. Yep. Whoa, 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 whoa. So it's not just like, the full moon night when shit gets all fucking weird. That's when the veil is at its very thinnest. Yep. But up, the gathering up to it and after that too is pretty hardcore. All right. So there might be some, mm -hmm. now I'm thinking about all those mosquito bites I got. There might be some like insect clearing. Okay. I hear that. It's for star seeds. All right. I'm looking at these bubbles on my face. All right, yep, I just saw that. Okay. So the group is like, uh -huh, the lighthouse, yeah, is calling forth the, the empaths. Yeah, they're, they're seeing the light. Yay. All right. So it's perfect time for salt baths. If you're seeing trippy shit, if you're like, especially if you did acid before in the past, you might feel like that kind of weird uh, time, right? It's like kind of usually when you're coming down and it's like, yeah, this is no longer fun and it's kind of scary. It feels kind of gross and gritty and my gut rot's about to start and all the insects have come out to show me how ugly they are. Yeah, that's kind of the vibration that can happen right now. If yeah, and I'm vibing pretty hard and I'm feeling that vibration. I'm having a lot of uh, insect activation that's how it's coming across so if you're getting like wigged out yeah just understand yeah it's gonna be okay try not to let it scare you and what i tell myself is i'm trying to be brave uh right now there's a big hairy centipede above my sanctuary and when i came in here there was a big fucking fly a huge fly I got in my tub and then I heard the buzzing. I was like, get my, like my foot was in the tub and then I heard the fly buzzing. And I'm like, oh my fucking God, this thing is trying to like, yeah, the fucking fly pharaoh. Yeah, so we're, cur yeah, I have curlers in her hair. Yeah, we're, 
We're clearing out the curse of an oppressive slave mastery, fly pharaoh, harem master kind of energy for the divine feminine showgirls, okay? The divine masculines are getting knighted. They're getting activated. I hear Leo, Aquarius, Virgo, Sagittarius. I hear Calendra, something like that, okay? Uh -huh. I just hear, hear Taurus. Send in the Taurus and the Scorpius. I vote stock. <laughs> we need to start soul school immediately. All right. So don't go crazy. Don't let these kind of scary vibrations. You're a spiritual martial artist. If you're going through the awakening, you know you're going through an awakening. Yeah, just understand the moon works with you. You might be getting activated. You might be switching vibrations. So what I did with that fucking hairy ass centipede thing, yeah, which I had another issue earlier in my awakening where like a centipede literally I was clearing some energy of a past life. All this freaky ass shit happened to me when I saw it and it fell down off the ceiling and it fucking scared the shit out of me. Yeah. So if you're, if any of that kind of stuff is, is spirit is transmuting energy, clearing stuff. Yeah. The wheel is turning. So I see a grinding stone and just remember, you know, spirit isn't always puffy clouds and rainbows and shit. No, sometimes it's freaky and scary. Yeah. But spirit it's a loving thing and it's here to help you. It's cleansing you. Okay? So, yeah, remember, you can clean out your garage. You can clean it, organize it, get everything where you want it. You can sweep it out, sweep out all those old things. Yep. But if you don't hose it out, you still got that fine, grimy layer. Yep. So, spirit's hosing it out. Yeah, you might be clearing the curse of a bunch of fucking hoes, too. And I'm not being judgy, dudes. I'm like a couple, you know, I'm a couple years ahead of you. I'm on the, on the journey, too. I'm just explaining. Okay? So if you feel like you need to cry, cry. Yeah, it's the hoes that's cleaning out your garage. Yeah. And just know, just say, I'm trying to be brave. Yeah. And I'm going to ride this up. Now, you may, those are the people who the moon is working with them kind of hardcore. These people may be new on their awakening. They may be um, in a dark night. They may be coming out of a dark night, just coming out. Maybe still in a dark night where everything's scary. Yep. So I'm here to tell you, it's going to be okay. This might be a tough moon for you. But just remember, once it peaks, boo, it goes back down. So you can take salt baths. You can take regular baths. You can uh, hole up in your house if you can, if you you know if you're able to. Uh, other people may be finding that they're getting activated with divine creativity, and when that happens, the moon pumps you full of all this energy. I remember one moon, I was fucking riding it like a horse, dudes. It was like the vibe was so fucking awesome. I was listening to the best move. Uh-huh. I hear movie moves. Okay. The best music. I was drawing. I was creating. I was manifesting like crazy. Yeah. So if you're trying to vibe high, you guys, the more you try and the more you like work with the universe, the more the universe will work with you. And you just have to remember, yeah, not to be scared because those like scary vibrations are kind of knocking at you and say, hey, can I take you down a couple of notches? And you say, nope, no, nope. I like vibing high. Yeah, the moon and I are friends. I have a love affair with the moon. Yeah. All right, dudes. So there's the moon magic. May the force be with you and also with